I'm Dizzy. And I'm Cupcake. And we're Something, Something Silly Clowns. Clowns. Today we're going to show you what's in our clown bags and the overflow. So this is going to be a continuation of our blog, which you can find over there. Or in the description box below. While you're down there, subscribe. And give us a like. Now, now on to the video. video. This first item is my Clown White oil-based makeup. Then we have my foundation color. Go to the blog for more details on how I use it and where I use it. Next I have the body crayon book, which is the face paint crayons that I use. This is the normal foundation that I use on my face. And this is the setting powder I use to set my foundation. This is the mascara I use. Here's my nose. And if you're using a traditional clown nose, you're going to need some sort of liquid latex. I use the Pro Nose brand. These are the two face paints that I use. So this is just a plain wax-based makeup. This would be my mascara. You can use whatever type you like. If you have any questions on any of this, just go to the blog. And this is uh, my nail polish. This is my lipstick. Go with whatever color you like. This is a shimmer coat that I do over my lips just for detail. And this is my cupcake. If you're going to use pencils, make sure that you have a pencil sharpener. For putting on makeup, get some cosmetic wedges and an eyelash curler for, maybe not so obviously, curling your eyelashes. This next item may not seem like much, but it's a sock filled with baby powder or cornstarch for setting your makeup. And a fluffy brush for brushing off extra powder. Baby oil or coconut oil to remove oil-based makeup. And just standard paint brushes and a regular everyday bowl so I can put on my face paint. And if you're allergic to latex glues, you can always use a glue dot instead. Try and find the one that works best for you. A basic green t-shirt that I wear underneath my dress. This is my rainbow maxi sundress. These are my fun patterned socks. and my rainbow rain boots. That's fun to say. And the pinwheels that go on top of my rain boots. And I always have extras in case I break them or they fly away, which only happened once. These are my very long and happy blue socks. And my very, very swirly blue dress. My crenolite to make it puff out and add a little bit of pink at the edge. My summer sweater, just to put something over my arms. and my winter shrug for when it's well and properly chilly. These are my shoes. If you're wearing a skirt or a dress, remember to have shorts or leggings to wear underneath. Dizzy always needs extra duct tape. I use it for taping on the stems of my pinwheels on my boots. This is my wig. My mom made it the night before I needed it, so it's one of a kind. It's made out of an old pair of tights and some fishing cord. This is my summer and performing hat. It's just a blue hat with a rainbow ribbon around it and a sunflower. And here's my winter hat. It's nice and long and rainbow. 
Here are my gloves. And all my extra pairs, because I always seem to lose one of them. Here's my rainbow belt. And both of my necklaces. Here are my pinwheel earrings. Thanks, Cupcake. Here is my tote bag, very large and very rainbow. And a pail for playing in the sand. And juggling balls in case Dizzy ever learns to juggle. So this is my wig. And you can see the ponytails unclip and reclip. And if you flip it upside down and look, you can use this hook to actually change the size to fit your head a little better. And this is my beautiful homemade hat. This is my little friend who hasn't quite come with me yet. This is frosting. You'll hear her referred to in some of our skits. Here's my body spray. Just adds a little bit of glitter and a special smell. Here's my bag from which I pull many things as needed for the script. My sunglasses. Convenient when it's sunny. My little special container which holds bubbles. Here is my little cupcake, just when kids ask what's in my bag. My necklace, which I got fairly recently. If you have longer hair, you're going to need a wig cap. As you can see here, this one was made out of nylons and that's pretty easy to do. But you can just as easily buy one. When you're clowning, you need a lot of bobby pins. And you can use these clips to help you with your wig. Check the blog for details. And a hairbrush. I find that wig brushes just don't work that well. Ponytails. So, as not to ruin your wig, you can braid it. So you won't have to trash it trying to brush it out later. And if you have small pieces like a nose or earrings, keep them in a glass mason jar. If you want to see what can make Dizzy dangerous on and off wheels, go to the blog. Thanks for watching and goodbye! goodbye.